Hello, this is Dory from Hemp Jewelry by Dory on Etsy.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do a basic square knot to make hemp jewelry. So in the middle here I have my two carrier cords and on each side I have my working cords and as you can see I've started the project with an overhand loop knot. I also have a video on how to do that if you aren't sure how to do an overhand knot. So I'm going to start on my left side and I'm bringing my left working cord underneath my two middle carrier cords and I'm laying it over top of my right working cord. So I've taken the left cord, working cord, brought it underneath the two middle carrier cords, laid it over top of my right working cord. I'm going to take my right working cord And it's going to go through this hole that I've made on the left side here. And as you can see, the cords fully encompass the middle carrier cords. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate on the other side. This is important because if you do it on the same side over and over again, you're going to get a half square knot, which is going to result in a spiraling effect, like a spiral knot. So I'm going to take my right working cord and I'm bringing it underneath my two middle carrier cords and I'm laying it over top of my left working cord. Now I'm going to take my left working cord and I'm going to bring it through this hole that I've made on the right side. And I'm bringing it up. It really helps to hold on to these two carrier cords as you're doing it so that they don't bunch up on you. Okay, also a very good tip when you're doing this, um, as I was saying, it's important to alternate your sides and remember which side you did last. Um, if you forget which side you did last, a good way to tell which side you did is by looking at what's called the hips of the square knot. As you can see, th see this is what you would call a hip, this loop-like part here. And as you can see on the other side, I have my hemp string coming out of the knot, out the top of it. If you forget which side you did, you'll want to start on this side where the string is coming out the top of the knot. So that's a good way to remember if you do happen to forget and drift off. So that is my basic square knot. Pretty much the most popular knot in making hemp jewelry. If you would like, um, you can subscribe to my channel, How to Make Hemp Necklaces, for more tips on how to make hemp jewelry and tie macrame knots. Thank you so very much for tuning in with me today. Have a wonderful day.